Okay. Um, I'm curious. So I changed my leader, which not him apparently. So these two are on the same, are on the um, same horse. So yeah, yeah. So it's like having them both as leader. She doesn't even switch, but. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, so it has been a while since I last recorded this, and I really have not had a good chance to record this because it's been a busy, busy, busy week for me. This is a wide open area. Uh, I assume I'm headed towards the nomadic settlement, which that's what, that's what the game seems to want me to think at least. So can I still run into yeah. enemies all proper like on the horse and stuff? I suppose I could dismount too. Do I need to stop completely to dismount? No, it doesn't even let me dismount in the yeah. first place. Okay. Okay, I think it might, I want it, I think it wants me to just head straight there. But those ruins look so interesting there, whatever those are. It was like someone repeating it over and over again with this like slight reverb on the voice. So I <laughs> Oh, okay. So, which way do we go? The planes are so vast that it's surprisingly easy to lose your sense of direction. True. Maybe it'd help if I just showed you a couple of major landmarks to help you get your bearings. Over that way is Zender Gate, that's where we set out from. That's the big mountain thingy. No, okay. the landmark over there is a triangular rock. It's sort of the centerpiece of this part of the high, uh, highlands. It's so massive. The further away we can see it from, the better of a landmark it'll be. Oh, so what's that building over to the left of it? Oh, that? It's a watchtower built by the Imperial Army in the southeastern part of the highlands. Heard they built it to keep an eye on the Calvert Republic out to the east. Oh, so that's an Imperial Army watchtower. I suppose it should come as no surprise that the army would want a watchtower here. True, the Highlands border both the Calvert, uh, both Calvert and Erebonia, much like Crossbell. Yep, and finally, look over to the, if you look over towards the mountains, my home is out in that direction. Ah, gotcha. Ah, uh, let me take another look at the map. So you have the nomadic settlement, you have the watchtower, you have the stone circle thingy. Okay, I think we have a better idea of where everything is now. Uh, it seems like we ought to keep this map handy until we're more familiar with the highlands, though. Which will totally happen within the course of, like, a day. Come to think of it. Where are those stone pillars over there? That's where I was headed. Oh, now that you point them out, I'm surprised I didn't notice them before. They seem man-made, or at the very least, not the sort of construct nature would leave lying about. Those are quite, uh, there are quite a few s similar objects and structures scattered across the highlands. They're basically Stonehenge. Most folks think they're what remains of the Neolithic civilization that existed over a thousand years ago. Wow, that's pretty far back. Hmm, I suppose, in a way, they're not dissimilar from the Animus ruins in Erebonia. Perhaps so. I'm not surprised you're curious about them, but we should save that discussion for later. That's a whole nother chapter. <laughs> uh, right now, we need to reach a settlement before sundown. Right. Okay, let's ride. Screw that. I can find my way up there, can't I? I think. Or not. Oh no, I have to go all the way to back. Settlement isn't this way, let's turn back. God damn it, diet. Uh, guys, guys, I'm trying to do things. Try to rely on the map. Uh. Wait. <laughs> okay. okay. Fine, 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 fine. I don't yeah. know why I kept the camera in that direction. The sun's almost down. Whoa! We're almost at the settlement. Let's keep up the pace, guys. Yeah. 
This is big and vast, but it also takes a bit of time to traverse. And it's so far, at the very least, there's been absolutely nothing here, except a few landmarks. So, yeah. So I wonder what sort of civilization Gaius realistically is a part of. So, okay. This is extremely Native American style. Well, yeah, yeah, sort of like the tent outcrop. I'm not really sure if there's many other places in the world that, um, at least in a more modern sense, coexisting with, um, you know, maybe this is more like the European tribes back from, uh, for the Roman Empire, because Erebonia is an empire. Wow. So this is Gaius' home, huh? Even though I've never been here before, it feels nostalgic somehow. Indeed, scenery makes me a little wistful for my own home. You can say that again. Well, we don't actually stay in this area all year round. Sometimes, between summer and fall, we move to another location farther to the north. I guess that's why you call, uh, they call you nomads, then. So why you live in those strange tent building things, places? <laughs> yep, they're made with a thick cloth and designs that we can put them up and take them down pretty easily. Anyway, let me show you to my home first. Then we can go and greet the elder after. Bro! Gaius has a sister. Oh! Oh, they're so cute! Or, he has a bunch of equivalent siblings. You're finally back! Welcome home, we missed you. Hey, Lily. Sheeta, I'm back. Good to see you looking well, too, Thoma. <laughs> glad, you could uh, glad you made it back safe. It's good to see you, bro. Thanks. Aw, you really seem to love him. Yeah, watching him makes me wish I had my own little, bro uh, little brother or sister of my own. It does. Oh, hey. Are these people that you wrote about in your letters? Ah, uh, they are indeed. The illustrious, industrious Class 7. Um, it's nice to meet you. I'm bur bur Um... Uh, okay, he's, he's stuttering. He's like, sort of like, whispering. It's just like, I'm bur brother. Okay, Gaius' brother, Doma. These are our sisters, Sheeta and Lily. It's nice to meet you. Are you bros friends? Sure are. And it's good to meet you, too. I'm Marine. I'm Elisa. Lovely to meet you. You're also cute. I'm Emma. Yusus Abarea. I'm honored. Wow, they're also... Erebonian. <laughs> ah, I'm glad to see you've been blessed with such wonderful friends. Dad? Mom? I'm home. Welcome home, Gaius. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I'm Gaius' mother, Fatma. <laughs> That's a weird... Oh, you know, they all have weird names. No, actually, no, most of them don't have weird names. Just her. Uh, his mother? But you look so young. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. I'm Gaius' father, Lakin Warzel. Or Lakin, probably Lakin. I'm very glad to meet my son's friends and schoolmates. The pleasure is all ours. Likewise, I've prepared a place for all of you to stay while you're our guest. There's much to discuss, of course, but you should drop off your belongings there first. It will soon be sundown. Come to my home and share in our evening meal. God damn, that's a lot of food. This is delicious. How do you get it to taste so good? Oh, well, we just, like, throw it over a fire for a few hours, you know. <laughs> we season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt and then wrap it and cook it. It's made uh, to the taste of us Highlanders, so I don't know if you Erebonians will like it, unlike how you just said that you liked it. All I can say is, I'll be wanting seconds soon. 
These grilled skewers are really good too. They've got this deep, rich flavor. Oh, those are kebabs. We just stick some lamb meat on the skewer and grill it. The food here is exquisite. I've never tasted its like. I almost feel sorry that the rest of our class isn't here to enjoy it. I'm glad he thinks so. Here I was, worrying that the taste might not agree with you. <laughs> Everyone loves mommy's cooking. No doubt that you're all tired from your long journey. Nord Cuisine is effective at easing fatigue. That's important when you travel as much as we do. I can see why. I already feel a little bit more relaxed. Maybe I should get these recipes so I can teach them to Sharon. Um, try some of this tea too. I might have skipped one, I'm not sure. That, can't, that went by real quick. Uh, we made with local herbs. It's supposed to be good for digestion. Oh, thank you. I will. It has a very gentle taste. The land of Nord is nothing if not a free country. I have no doubt your time here will make for a very unique experience, though not without inconveniences here and there. Still, these highlands have plenty of history with your own homelands. Might you be referring to the story of Emperor Dreykels? We've been learning about, uh, learning class how the War of the Lions, about the War of the Lions, he first started gathering his army here in Nord. That's right, the tales of Emperor Dreykels' exploits are passed down here in Nord too. After the war ended, he became an emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of the Nord. The friendship has held strong to this day, and I pray it will continue far into the future. Well, that's not foreboding. I see. While the people of the Nord are not counted as true Erebonians, they are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. That's how it shakes out. Though recently, the Calvard Republic has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to cultivate good relations with the people there, but the Republic's forays into the Highlands have certainly created some tension. The Empire and Republic are old foes, after all. Thankfully, we've managed to avoid armed conflict in these last few years, although politically and economically, relations between the two are only growing worse. <laughs> it seems likely that simmering conflict is what led to that incident in Crossbell last month. No doubt an outgrowth of ongoing conflict between pro-Calvardian and pro-Arabonian forces in their government. I am not entirely aware of this crossbell uh, situation. Um, it's also been a while since I played, so I'm not sure how much they mentioned it. I might be just forgetting stuff. I might be, um... I might just not be in the know as well as the game wants me to, or I could be exactly how much it wants me to, and I could be just blissfully unaware of this thing that's happening. So it seems. Hmm. Be that as it may, to both countries Nord is a remote region of relatively little importance. While there is a military presence in the Highlands, that's not something you should have to worry about during your stay. Just try to focus on your field study while you're here. We'll do what we can. You must be the one who chose our task for this month's field study, right? Indeed, I did. Though the hour is already late, I'll give you your task in the morning. As for the area you'll cover in your study, I think it would be wise to focus on the southwestern plains tomorrow morning. To the, uh, the southwest, hmm? We crossed that area in our trek here today, I believe. Yeah, the highlands are a vast, open, wide space. They extend well past the northern end of the settlement, too. But let's just start with the southwestern plains. Sounds good to me. So, everything we've got on the agenda for tomorrow will be in the southwest. Exactly. Try to be back at the settlement around noon, guys. I'll give you the remaining task for the mid after our midday meal. So basically, instead of having two days, we're going split up between morning and afternoon. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Got it, Dad. Anyway, here I am talking your ear off when I should be letting you get some rest after your long day. We rise before the sun here. Sleep well. Morning will come sooner than you think. And you will not want to get up because... <laughs> oh my goodness, waking up before sunrise. That's like usually six o'clock. Oh, sounds horrible. The place we prepared for you has beds ready. Can you show them the way, guys? Sure thing. I want to show them the way, too. Oh, goodness. Me, too. Come on, I think Bro can handle it on his own. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the meal. Good night, everyone.
You know, actually, given the horse connection to the Nord Highlands, that actually reminds me of... I know one of the big things that the um, Native Americans had is horses, like many of the stuff. So I think European um, nomadic tribes probably also had horses as a big thing. I'm pretty sure Europe had horses. I'd be really shocked if Europe didn't have horses back like in the Roman days and beyond. Hmm. I'm not a big history buff, but I'm just trying to remember it a little bit better and see where the parallels are with the real world here. Um, sorry, I know you guys probably would have wanted separate rooms, but this is all we've got. Oh, don't worry about it. Reading uses are both gentlemen, after all. We have nothing to worry about. Hm, <laughs> but of course. Ah, thanks, guys. You'll be uh, staying over at your family's place, then. My sisters both insisted on it. I couldn't turn them down. Will it be alright if I come and wake you guys at, up at sunrise? Yeah, that sounds fine. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep the moment my head hits the pillow, anyways. By the way, get your beauty s By all means, get your beauty sleep. All right, pleasant dreams, everyone. Good night, guys. He is quite the fortunate man. I thought the same thing while we were eating dinner. He's got those adorable sisters, two parents that really care about him. I can see where guys gets his calm and level-headed personality. Part of a caring family growing up side by side with nature like this, it's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. <laughs> True enough. Anyway, it sounds like we've got an agonizingly early wake-up call coming our way. We should probably get some sleep. No objections from me. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep at, on my feet at this rate. Huh. Well, let's get dressed for bed and turn off the lights. Field study day two, but not really day two, because you know. Did I hear a sheep? <sighs> Where am I? Oh, oh right. Nord Highlands. You know, I'm sort of surprised that they have beds. I mean, I mean, um, not that they are incapable of having beds because they're, they're, um, uh, nomads. You typically wouldn't bring yourself with such, um, uh, you'd have a much more easily packable bed system instead of, like, straight beds with the frame, the mattress, the pillow, the heavy comforter, uh, comforter there. I feel surprisingly energetic. Ah, uh, maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. Hmm. I wonder if Master Kai Fei trained... Kai Fei... I don't remember. Kai Fei trained out in the wilderness like this. You're up early, Reen. That's guys. Morning, guys. Hey, nice clothes. W whoa, hold on. Why are you dressed like that? This is what you normally look like when you're back home? Oh, I was just helping put the sheep out to pasture. It should almost be done fixing the morning meal now. Okay. I guess we should wake up the others then. Yusis. Elisa. Emma. Rise and shine, everyone. It's officially the crack of dawn. Mm, where am I? <laughs> are those... sheep? <laughs> you guys. I suppose none of you are used to waking up quite this early. Honestly, I'd like to find the person who really wants to wake up that early. My goodness. I would just be the worst. I'd rather stay up to three in the morning than wake up at five. My goodness. <laughs> this is delicious. I concur. Is this a kind of milk porridge? Well, I guess. We make it with sheep's milk and salt-cured meat. Cheetah and Lily made it fresh for you themselves. 
Yeah, I helped. Well, that young and you're already better cooks than me. I really need to get this recipe from you, too. Oh, okay. Well, the first thing you do is... <laughs> Your friends all seem like such nice people. It would seem the winds have blessed you with their guidance. I think so, too. Okay, let me give you this. And weirdly enough, it has the exact same envelope style, too. <laughs> Field study day one morning is high task. Okay, delivery to the watchtower. Could someone deliver something to the soldiers in the Imperial Army watchtower for me? If so, I'll be at the trading post. Cool, uh, Kilte. Kilt, maybe. Turning over a new leaf. I need ingredients for a very important medicine, and I would like to request that you obtain them for me. I will tell you more in person, so please come to speak at me at my home. Wherever that might be, probably in the... Probably in the Nomad Village. Return to Zender. I have a very important request for Class 7 pertaining to a monster prowling the Highlands. Come speak to me in the Commander's Room at Zender Gate for more information. Be prepared for battle. This all looks relatively straightforward in the usual stuff. So, monster... Okay, uh, let's see, we'll be helping gather some medicinal herbs and... Oh, there's even a request from Zender Gate. It looks like you've chosen tasks that will help us become familiar with the Highlands. That's the idea. Put a lot of thought into choosing tasks that will give you a nice, sweeping overview of life here. As I said yesterday, you should be able to complete all of the requests in the southwestern, uh, southwestern reaches of the Highlands. Understood. Uh, thanks again. Alright, we've got work to do. So we need to finish all of these tasks and return here by noon? Yep, we'll be having lunch back here at the settlement. Also, I wouldn't recommend leaving the settlement without a horse. The Highlands are vast. I'd hate if any of you got lost or collapsed out there because you headed out on foot. That's true. We best pay heed to where we're going. Hmm. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Take care, everyone. The settlement contained three useful facilities. The Elder's House, Orwell Factory, Trading Post is a weapons armor shop. The lodging gear allows you to rest. Visit them whenever you want. Guys can now use the Icecraft Calamity Hawk, which he gained for no particular reason other than coming home, I suppose. Maybe it was the sheep. Maybe, maybe the sheep taught him it. Okay, off we go. What do you want? I jotted on the recipe for the porridge we had in the morning. Um, here you go. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Cheetah. Thanks for taking the time to do that. Mm, now we'll be able to enjoy whenever we wish. Actually, thank you. I didn't expect that when I started talking to you. Wow, this sort of, like, morning hue, this blueness across everything. Hmm. Bit weird looking. I'd imagine more of, um, yellow hue across the land at this time of day, but okay. It's fine. Wait. Talk to horse. <laughs> oh, I love that's an option. Our code and kiss. Still can't ride horse, despite being five years old. What? Rather worried? Even Lily can ride one well at her age? That's a fairly young age to expect someone to be able to ride a horse at. Being able to do so is essential to the people of the Nord. I'm sure we'll be able to do it soon, though. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Perhaps a special training is in order before our next relocation. A rumor about the peoples of Nord's proficient with the horses seem to have been truly... Impressive. Damn. That's really early. That's like learning... That's like learning, like, hunting and gathering at really young age. I suppose it would be necessary. I mean, it has to be necessary at some point, but... Same time. Damn. Oh, hey there, guys. I see your friends from the Academy are here, too. Good to meet you all. I'm a Mur. This settlement's doctor of sorts. Sounds like a tough job. Even more so if he'll be able to... Uh, if he'll be the only one here to fill that position. Yeah, good point there, Yusis. He makes all sorts of medicines for essentially everyone here in the settlement. We're all heavily indebted to him. Oh, come on now. You all do more for me than I do for you. That aside, don't hesitate to stop by again while you're staying here. I'll provide you with anything you're looking for. Thanks, that should be a big help. We'll be relying on you should the need arise then. Well, that should be enough for the introductions. If it's alright with you, we can move on to the topic of my request now. Of course. Let me explain then. I'm in the middle of whipping up some medicine for the horses here, you see. 
I'd like you to collect a medicinal herb that uh, medicinal herb that I need for that. Are the horses ill? Oh no, nothing like that. It's more of a vaccine to prevent a certain disease of horses here can catch. Uh, yeah. So it's an endemic disease then. Yeah. The chances of the disease uh, spreading are always at their highest during the summer too, because of the intense heat. It's dangerous enough to uh, to be fatal if we leave it alone. That's awful. You can prevent it with proper treatment, however, correct? Yes, which is why I need you to collect some Epona grass for me. You look for some plants with yellow flowers in the southern region of the highlands, which I really actually remember seeing when I was just running around under the horse. Shouldn't have too much of an issue finding it with guys around, at least. In terms of how many I need, I think five should do it. Uh, just let me note that down. Okay, got it. We should make haste, then. Hmm, we need to head out now, Emmer. Thanks, and good luck. Turning over a new leaf started. This is our settlement store. We've recently started selling Erebonian weapons and tool from Zenergate to hunt with. And it's sort of weird that you have a shop in a singular tribe thing going on. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. I know it's more of a gamey thing, so I have a shop to shop at. But the idea of having a shop for a singular tribe... Unless you have, like, a tr like. Like, I don't know. I, I had never really imagined nomad tribes to be the type to have a very capitalist style society, I guess. Hmm. Seems like we'll be using this place a lot while we're here. They seem to have a wealth of traditional accessories and ornaments from Nord, too. Indeed, they're all rather lovely. Hmm. I might come back by myself later, actually. Pretty sure I'll be able to find a nice souvenir here. Oh? And just who exactly are you sending that souvenir to? My sister, I I thought it'd be a good way to get it on her good side for once. We rarely get to see each other anymore since she started attending St. Um, Astrea. Astrea. Oh. Right, I forgot you also had a little sister. I'm somewhat jealous that she has such a thoughtful brother. Well, let's just say their relationship seems to be a little more on the, um... I want to forget about it side. I guess that's the only way I could really phrase it well. Oh, hello there, guys. I have to admit, I'm still rather surprised at just how many people you've gotten to know while you've been gone. Glad I've got to met them all. Meet them all. Aha! I've been thinking that everyone thinks that way. It, it's nice to feel welcome, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> well, by the way, you're Clyde, right? I think you put in the request for us. That's me. As you can see, we've got a respectable range of stock here. We even trade with people outside the settlement. Okay, so there is... A l I mean, how many people show up at the settlement asking like, Oh, I want to trade here! Like, at a shop situation, so just like, Oh, let's just do a big trade between the civilization. Uh, whatever. The capitalist thing. Just the shop thing is throwing me off. That said, the delivery I want you to make isn't really related to any of that. Do you have the time to do it right now? Yeah, I can... Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're ready. You're really helping me out here, thank you. From what I recall, you want us to deliver something to the Imperial Army's Watchtower, correct? What exactly will we be, li uh, be delivering? Well, first, there's this, uh, there's this fresh cheese made from our sheep's milk. There's some cured and smoked sheep meat. Furthermore, there's... So essentially, you wish for us to deliver food to them. All of, the, all of which was made here, too. Yes, that's right. We've been on friendly terms with the Imperial Army for a while now, you see. Sharing our produce with them is essentially our way of saying thank you. Considering how delicious the food here is, I'm almost jealous. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Well, I have to agree with her there. Who should deliver this? Uh, who should we deliver this to, then? A soldier named Zat should be standing by the entrance of the watchtower, so hand it over to him. Just tell him I sent you and things should go smoothly. Here you go. Food parcel. Don't worry. We'll make sure they get it. We'll head over there as soon as we can. I'm sure they'll be happy to get all this food, too. Delivery to watchtower started. I've returned. Welcome back, guys. Allow me to welcome your school friends, too. Welcome back, indeed. I see you've all got plenty of rest last night. So, it wasn't that... It wasn't ha that hard after the warm welcome we received. We not... Uh, we may not be here long, but we hope to learn much from the people of the Nord. Oh, we're pleased to all have you here. It's Nord tradition to treat our visitors like family, so please make yourself at home here. Oh, yes. You also find a facility for ornament, uh, ornament maintenance here. Please feel free to use it as much as you need. Yeah, that was the idea when I originally came here, so... Yeah. 
Oh my, is that machine over- is it that machine over there, perhaps? Wow, that's quite a surprise. Did someone come out here specifically to set this up? You'll see- uh, you'll see soon enough, I guess. Oh, okay. Being vague there, eh? <laughs> You're welcome to come by should you need anything else. I'll be praying for the winds and Idios that you should have a pleasant, comfortable stay. Thank you for your concern. We'll have to make the most of our field study after such a warm welcome. I like the resolution I see in your eyes. Ah, uh, you've come across some good friends, guys. I couldn't possibly agree more. Orb mint time, orb mint time, orb mint, orb mint, orb mint time. No, now I'm well aware that the cast of characters is a nice group of kids and... Ah, uh, la la, southern re... Okay, apparently I'm going the wrong way. Okay. I know, I'm well aware that the cast of characters, all the students, are a good group of kids and pretty respectful usually and pretty tolerant and not the sort of people to be lashing out out of intolerance and whatnot. But at the same time, there's a certain sort of, um, embracement of this entirely different way of lifestyle that seems almost unnatural for people to have lived in a completely different one to that extent. I suppose it's not so much people just being respectful. I mean, there, there's an extent of it. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's ride. Ah, uh, press the server to dismount from the hall. Okay, I wasn't able to dismount before, so navigation menu doing that. But to enter combat with monsters, simply run in some of the horse or approach them using the X button, so I don't need to get off the horse. That's good. It's like I, it's like I understand that there's a certain amount of yeah. Um, I mean, they're good people. I would expect them to be generally quite respectful of this different way of life. I figured there'd be monsters around. Be careful, everyone. Got it. I figured there'd be, um... They'd be respectful. They'd be all those... You're in my way. ...various different important things and... Uh, whatnot, but... Ha! At the same time, there's a... It feels like they're going way overboard with that. Go! Green! Leave it to me! Oh, could this be? You got it, that's Pona Grass. Oh, it's lovely. I assume we can just pull the entire thing out. Yeah, we just have to be careful to not damage it. Here, allow me. Uh, guy has carefully pulled out the opponent grass. Received. Okay, that's one down. Only four remain. Let's get back to searching then. Let's get going. Now again. Yeah. I don't really know a better way to phrase it. I suppose. There's a certain sort of, like, Bring it they've been so, my turn, almost ridiculously, um, like nice and, Be gone. like, like, acting like they're jealous my of this turn. different way of life, even though, in reality, Turns most people face. would be more comfortable with their own way of life and not like Man. jealous of Go. someone who gets to live in an entirely Go. different way. Especially without a lot of the comforts yeah. that they got to grow up and live with. Here. I guess what I'm ultimately saying is that I feel as though there's there should be more of a difference between acting yeah. like they definitely have like a better way of life and they should be jealous and simply being respectful of different ways of life and not disliking it simply because it's different. It's and turn. I feel as though they've crossed the line from how people in these situations would probably realistically react in those situations. But, you know, for approaching like 24, uh, like 25 hours of gameplay almost, I'm actually sort of impressed by how well the game has held up in not having many situations where the writing has seemed distinctly off like it does now, in terms of how they're reacting to stuff. I guess forced would be another way to, I mean, yeah, I, of course I want to pull that up, why would I not? What possible situation would I have gone up to and pressed X on it otherwise? 